Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is James and today I'm going to be reacting to Exotic Slayer's Rehousing His Huntsman Spider video. Um, this is just for fun, I am not a professional, I do own tarantulas, but I'm just a tarantula lover basically. I know a lot of information, even though I don't have a lot of tarantulas myself, I still am very knowledgeable about tarantulas, so yeah. Um, though a huntsman spider is not a tarantula, it is a still, it's still classed as a spider, but I do have a lot of spiders. I collect them, so we're gonna see how this goes. I'm just gonna be reacting to it. This is gonna be for fun. This is no criticism or hatred or anything like that. This is just for fun. So let's get into it. Okay, so I actually do follow and watch his videos a ton, honestly. He's actually probably the first YouTuber, well, trench leech, but I should say, um, who actually got me into coming over my fear of spiders and tarantulas. I know that's really weird to say because you can go from having a massive fear to actually owning one, and it's just insane. But a lot of people in the comments as well are saying the exact same thing. A lot of people in the comments watch the, his videos just to get over their fear of spiders. It's insane, but yeah, he's really helping a lot of people with this stuff, and including a lot of other tarantula communities as well. Their channels are doing so great. Like, the amount of people sharing the love and tr like support for tarantulas and everything helps other people understand them better, and it's just that much more loving. Hopefully, this goes smoothly, because if it doesn't, there are so many yeah. places for her to like literally run. And I don't want a huntsman like this big running around my room. And That's I very true. You don't want that. Way to do this successfully with very slim chances of mistake. So let's see if that works. Let me give you a quick look of the enclosure first. So this is what I've prepared for her. That is a very decent enclosure. You kind of need only one kind of piece of wood in there. Moss as well as forest moss, the exoterra one, as well as a piece of driftwood. Because these guys, I noticed that they are pretty arboreal. They behave like semi-arboreals, but... That is very true. They do. And that is because they find mostly trees and stuff like that up high. And it's kind of just like a nice little area for them to be. So naturally in the wild, a tarantula who uh, goes up on the trees is an arboreal. And um, the ones who burrow are called a burrowing species. Um, the ones that... Um, he is talking about because he's got a husband spider. Um, they show it to be a little bit more arboreal because they go up higher on trees. They'll find like a piece of cardboard that ends up being like a little further up and stuff like that. And it's just something that they do. It's very interesting. It's almost like a pokey in a way. Well, actually, definitely like a pokey, I would say. Um, but a pokey is a tarantula, by the way. Um, I don't know the scientific name for it, unfortunately. I just love using the other names because they're just really unique and lovely. I just love them. They're just so fun to use. But I don't actually remember all the scientific names because they're obviously hard to pronounce and stuff like that. So I always remember the other names. However, this is really, really nice. Like the setup he has currently is amazing. Like I definitely agree with it. Whatever. A wood in there wouldn't hurt. So let's get her in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is loosen this cover. Put it in here. This is what I do with my tarantula as well when rehousing yeah. her. Put this cover on. Just in case she bolts, make sure yeah. you press it down. And I'm gonna like use this piece of wire. It's like really long. And then like put it through here. I'm gonna knock off the cover, just like that. And then we release the beast. Oh. Hmm. Quite calm. I was actually expecting her to bolt. So yeah, there are a lot of moments with your tarantula where you're just expecting them to bolt. Like, <laughs> I've had my tarantula, like, she'll bolt one moment and it's like, oh, I gotta be careful with her now. And then all of a sudden I can have her out and she's fine and it's like, I thought you were in a bolting mood. Like, it's so weird, but it does happen. Like, you can just assume, like, oh, they're gonna be bolty and they don't actually end up being bolty. But then the one thing you do is, like, you... Oh, they're calm. You think they're calm, and then all of a sudden they bolt across, and it's like, I just thought you were calm a minute ago. So it's it's the most tedious thing with tarantulas and stuff like that, especially with, um, I think, rose hair. Rose hair have very mood swings, and they're just hard to deal with. <laughs> I actually was thinking of getting a rose hair for my first tarantula, until I found out about the, smooth, the mood swings, and I was like, 
No one thinks I'm good, mate. <laughs> then I get a Brazilian blonde, which is actually a really good choice. Though they grow very, very big, so I'm gonna have a big tarantula at the end of the day. <laughs> well, they don't grow within a day. <laughs> they grow within a few years. <laughs> a few years to go. Come on, girl. Get off. Oh my goodness. There she is. I need her to go down, otherwise I can't take out the container. It looks like this enclosure is plenty big for her. Yeah, definitely. Whoa, look at her. Ain't she a beauty? So cute. Now, as you can see, this enclosure is plenty big for her, so this is gonna last her a long time, which I am so glad because I do not want to rehouse this girl again. Well, I probably have to, but that would probably be the last time. Uh, uh yeah, probably the last time. So now let's take out that small container, her previous enclosure. Oh, she's already found the underneath of the wood. That's awesome. Now I can confidently... They naturally would do. They'd, that's kind of like how they find their burrows and stuff like that. Quickly. Yeah, quickly. <laughs> and yes, mission accomplished. So that will be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy. It may not have been something that you guys expected. I'm pretty sure you guys expected something more exciting. Yeah. Hoping that the tea will bolt on me. I'm in the huntsman. That does happen a lot. People expect like, oh you should rehouse your tarantula, oh you should rehouse this, oh you should do a video with this. And they're like expecting like something exciting to happen, such as like um the tarantula bolting, the huntsman bolting, the spider going like all oh, things going wrong. And yes they do make entertaining videos but sometimes we don't make videos based on this certain things because of it not happening like there are tarantulas that just are nothing they don't do anything so like you could have your tarantula in the ultimate setup it has it's the ultimate molt and everything like that and there's nothing much to do with it and yet people are like oh we should see spite we should see videos of that spider and it's like well you're not really expecting what that tarantula is actually going to offer you um you see this tarantula is very Calm. It doesn't do much. It just stays in its high height. That's all it does. And so when people have videos of that done, people are like, oh, we expected more out of this. And so, yeah, that's kind of like the disappointing factor of it. You get recommended like, oh, you should do this, you should do that. And it's like, but my tarantula is not the way you think it is. And so, yeah, that's kind of the downside of that. But yeah, that will be it for this video. I'm very grateful to be able to like do reaction videos of this kind of stuff because it's awesome to watch and I'll definitely be doing more in the future so if you guys have any suggestions for me to react to I will definitely do it um like crazy videos I will definitely react to they're so fun to do and uh, yeah make sure to uh follow me down in the description below because there'll be links to my tiktok uh hopefully twitch in the future and my other facebook group as well which I will be doing live streams on every two weeks of my tarantula <laughs> where I feed her and uh yeah that kind of goes a bit crazy sometimes <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video also if you want to follow exact glares you can go ahead and do that as well because he is epic and he does a lot of videos as well not just tarantula content but other content as well which is really really cool so go check that out and uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye